Hey everyone, my name is Katie and I want to thank you for joining me for this Tinker Tuesday. This week we're learning all about reptiles and amphibians. One of my favorite reptiles are snakes. Snakes are awesome at controlling pests and some of them are super cute. Like a photo of this hognose snake. One of the cool things about snakes is that some of them can see heat. How awesome is that? So for today's Tinker Tuesday, I wanted to figure out how that works and how different animals see the world. Let's dive in. There are all kinds of different snakes in the world. We have little gardener snakes, rat snakes, rattlesnakes, vipers, cobras, and pythons. We like to put snakes into two categories, venomous and non-venomous snakes. A lot of venomous snakes have a cool superpower, heat vision, but not like Superman's heat vision. Instead, some of these snakes can see in the infrared. But what does that mean? Well, snakes like our vipers, pythons, and boas have special heat sensing organs right by their nose called pits. Here is a close up of a pit viper and you can see these little holes next to his nose. Those are the pits. These organs work kind of like our nose and eyes, but they have the ability to detect heat. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how they can see heat. One of the things we learned about yesterday with Kelsey is that reptiles are what we call cold-blooded or ectothermic. Now, that doesn't mean that they're mean or nasty. It just means that they get their heat from outside their body. That's why we see turtles and lizards hanging out in the sun all the time. They need the sun to help warm them up. You and I, on the other hand, we can make our own heat by eating a lot of food. This means we also give off a lot of heat. You can feel that anytime you go and hug someone or you're really close to them. You feel a lot warmer. You can feel the heat coming off of their body. But you don't have to take my word for it. We can test that right now. So I have this really cool thermometer that points a little laser at anything I want to see the temperature of. So let's go ahead and I'm going to point it at my desk that I have down here. So you can see it'll put a little laser, right? I'm going to point it at the desk. I'm outside right now. So the desk is about 82.5 degrees Fahrenheit. See? So that's a little warmer or colder than our normal body temperature, maybe. Um, so how many of you guys think, let's think about it. Do you think that the temperature of your skin is going to be about the same as the desk? Or do you think it's going to be warmer? Hmm. All right. So I'm going to test it out really quick. So I'm going to point this at my wrist here and we're going to see. All right. So this says that my wrist is 92 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's almost 10 degrees warmer than the desk, right? So my body is giving off all this heat, unlike the desk. Well, snakes can see that heat coming off our bodies. It looks a little like this. You can see in this photo that the mouse is green and orange, while the floor and wall are blue. The mouse is giving off heat, making it colorful when the walls are not. So these snakes can see the heat, or what scientists call infrared radiation, that's coming off from the mouse. So what is infrared radiation and why can't we see it? Well, to understand a bit about that, we need to talk about waves. But not exactly these waves. We need to talk about the electromagnetic spectrum. There are all kinds of waves around us. Some we can see and others we can't. Here you can see where radar waves, x-rays, and radio waves fall. This can get a little confusing, but I just want to focus on these colors. Did you know that light travels like an ocean wave? It travels from the source, usually the sun or maybe a light bulb, all the way to us or surfaces. 
right? Then that light bounces off an object and shows a color. It reflects a color. Our eyes can see those waves that bounce off and we can see all the ones in the visible light area. So all the colors of the rainbow. But other animals, like our snake friends, can also see those infrared waves, the ones outside that we can't see, right? Some animals, like bees, can't see those infrared waves, but they can see the other end, all those ultraviolet waves that we also can't see. But all the colors that you and I can see are in that visible light spectrum, that area with all the rainbow colors. That's all I have for you guys for this Tinker Tuesday. We learned all about infrared vision in snakes, and I don't know about you, but I think it's pretty crazy how some snakes see the world really differently than us. If you want to try a cool activity to test your night vision powers, take some crowns, color pencils, or markers, and a piece of paper, and go to a dark room. Then try to draw a rainbow with the colors in the right order. Then. Turn on the lights and see how your rainbow looks. Here's a picture of how mine turned out. I started off trying to make a rainbow and couldn't find where I last drew. Then I used my thumb to mark my different spots. As you can see, I need a lot of light to pick out those colors. Try it out, let me know how it goes. That's it for this Tinker Tuesday, bye. Come back tomorrow and see Emily talk all about metamorphosis on her wonderful Wednesdays. And make sure you come back next week where we're going to learn how to build our very own hovercrafts on our next Tinker Tuesday.